All right, hey guys, welcome back. I want to talk to you just briefly about how to create a custom tracking link in Sierra Interactive using your website. And you can use that link to do things like throw down a postcard with a QR code, or you could even do a Facebook post or an Instagram uh, story ad or something like that and drive traffic to your website and generate leads that way. Very, very cool tool. So you'll know you're logged in to Sierra Interactive when you can see the lead management page here is what we're looking at right now and just make sure that you're logged in. I usually just go to leads and then dashboard and it'll refresh the screen letting me know that I am in fact logged in because it gets a little confusing here in this next step. So one thing, uh, next thing you want to do is go to kennethjamesrealty.com and you want to use the home page here, right? So you don't necessarily need to use carl.kennethjamesrealty.com if you guys are using your own individual websites. Simply log into the home page, it makes things a little bit easier on our end. Now, what we're going to do in this particular case is advertise somebody's listing. So, for example, we're going to use this one here in Tempe. I'm just going to copy this MLS number here simply by Command C on a Mac or, or I think it's Control C on a PC, and then the opposite, uh, Command C or Command V, I'm sorry, and then paste that right in there. MLS number does populate here, and then bam, two seconds later, that uh, comes up. And what we want to do here is kind of hover over your top left corner here in this little blue bar. And that's going to magically make this thing appear. And that is your linking or your tracking link generator tool. Go ahead and click on that. Confirm that is the correct landing page. It does look like that's the one. And then we're going to select the source. Since we're going to be posting this on Facebook, it would make a lot of sense to have the source be Facebook. And then if you guys are running a campaign, um, you can put the campaign name in here. Like if you're running... Um, Craigslist or you know Bing or, uh, or or Google Ads or something like that. You can do that here. I'm simply going to use Facebook One, which is just a generic Facebook campaign. The registration type here. There's a couple different options. Normal registration uses the site requirements, which gives you guys or the end user, I should say, two or three free looks before they get prompted to register. They may get prompted the very first time, and then they can kind of bypass that take a look at some more properties and then they're going to get prompted again. No registration means that it's a free for all. Anybody can take a look at it anytime. They'll never get a prompt to register. Facebook style is pretty cool because um, it really works well with Facebook. You have to or ask them to log in using their Facebook credentials. Full registration is where they are required to put in their name, telephone number, and email address in order to register. And you could even do a no social option on there, which would uh, remove the option to log in with Google or Facebook. And sometimes you would want that if you're getting a lot of bad email addresses or bad phone numbers. Um, removing the social options sometimes will increase that conversion rate just a little bit. In this case, we're going to use just the normal registration. Actually, let's go ahead and use Facebook style because this is kind of going on Facebook. That makes a little bit of sense. Now, we want to assign the lead to ourselves, right? We don't want this thing going into the round robin and potentially having another agent pick that up. So let's make sure that we assign it to ourselves. And then you can also assign it to a lender. So if you're doing some co-op advertising with a lender, go ahead and use that lender. In this case, I'm gonna use David. If you wanna put a note in here, you can put a note. This would be something like personal Facebook post. And that way you know that it came from one of the first personal Facebook posts. And I'll put the date in here. You know, 4 2 happens to be on the uh, 2nd of April, 2019. You can also put some tags in here. I tag my things. That's just me. Um, let's just use Facebook as a tag in this so we know it came from a Facebook lead. And then you can also assign an action plan. Action plans have a plan for you guys to send out emails or texts or phone call follow-ups. I'm going to go ahead and do 10 days of success. That's really, really a strong campaign that gets you started uh, the right direction. Now, if this person registered after 5 p.m., this 10 days of success action plan would start the next calendar day. Not the next business day, but the next calendar day. Um, I'm usually up pretty late. I'm going to go ahead and say 8 o'clock, and that way it notifies me that I've got a new lead and I can follow up that right away. You can also throw them on a drip campaign. Since this is going to come from Facebook, let's go ahead and put new Facebook lead as a drip campaign in there, and that will follow up with these guys pretty much indefinitely for the rest of their lives. They're going to get an email from you guys. So... Another cool thing you can do here, two or three more cool things you can do here, is you can auto-send a text message. 
I'm going to show you what this looks like here. I'm going to put new custom message in here. And then I want to delay it just a little bit so it looks a little bit more personal. And it's like, you know when you get a message instantly when you register for a website? It's an automated thing. I want to make this a little bit more personal. So I'm going to do two things here. I'm going to add in the person's first name. So we'll put the lead first name in here. I'm going to put a space in between and say, you know, it'd be like, Bobby, let me know if you want to take a look at some homes today. And then I'm going to add my name and company name behind that so they know who it came from. And then I'll throw like a little emoji in here, right? So let's do a little emoji right at the end, put a space in between, and I'll do like a smiley face or something like that. All right, so that'll automatically send out after three minutes. You guys can also do video messaging, which is kind of cool. So you can create kind of a canned yeah. video response, and you can actually drag and drop that in there. Um, it does cut you off at about 15 seconds. So if your video is like 14 and a half seconds, it tends to trim like a quarter second off the front and the back. So I'd make it like 13 seconds if you can, just a very, very quick video intro if you're gonna do that. You can also send photos, um, maybe relating to the property or something like that, you can do that as well. You can also auto send an email instantly or put a delay on it. And you can also auto send a voicemail if you wanted to, that'd be that uh, ringless voicemail which is kind of a cool thing to do. So if you guys have ever had your phone ring like a quarter or a half of a ring and then like two minutes later you magically have this voicemail, that is what that is. Uh, so when you guys are done selecting all your options, all you want to do is click on build a tracking link and that's going to generate that full link for you. If you guys are doing something um, you know that you require a clickable link, you might want to use the short link. Otherwise, use that full link. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm going to log into Facebook real quick. And I'm going to simply paste that whole link into this post. It takes a second or two, it's going to fetch a preview, and then bam, there it is. So what I want to do is delete this text because it looks not very good, quite frankly. And you can put something in here like, check out this listing. And then you can put the text in there, you can put the price in there if you wanted to do that. You can put some of the details about the home or a very strong call to action like, click the link below to check out my new listing or, you know, um, maybe it's sort of homes in a certain area, whatever you want to specialize in. You can do that. You can also add it to your story. So if you guys aren't familiar with stories, get caught up in that, please. And that will provide a clickable link inside your story. And then you can go ahead and share that thing and you are good to go. So literally it's that easy. If you guys have any questions on this thing at all, please never hesitate to reach out to me or Lauren. We're always, always, always happy to help in any way we can. I hope you guys find this very useful and uh, have a great day. Take care.